my name is Samia Soni, and I'm the CEO and founder of the nonprofit called AI for Environment, from which I organized this exciting event. The mission of AI for Environment is that awareness and education about global environmental challenges will bring us together to journey towards a healthy planet. Artificial intelligence has the potential to transform and revolutionize the world on a path of progression and prosperity for all living things. The AI for Environment nonprofit is on a mission to use technologies including AI, IoT, Internet of Things, and business intelligence to generate awareness of and solve global environmental challenges. Together, we can make a difference. I got inspired to organize this event because I believe AI has the potential to help the world in a variety of fields and from several problems such as climate change, fraud, and fruits, food scarcity. So I wanted to inspire different communities from around the world to become interested in AI and see how AI can revolutionize the world to move on a path of progression and efficiency because the possibilities of AI are endless. Today, I'll be talking more about Azure Farm Beats along with um, showing a live demo. So first, I would like to say that through my nonprofit, AI for Environment, we have partnered with a nonprofit in India called Jan Jagran Kendra. And so let me show you. Here is their website. Um, the objective of their watershed program is to avoid rainwater runoff and conserve it for irrigation purposes. And they've improved productivity of land for farmers for more than a decade by using various methods. But now we have started partnering with them um, to potentially use Azure Farm Meats to help farmers increase farm productivity and food yield by, you know, while utilizing minimum natural resources. So using AI, IoT sensors, satellite imagery, and weather patterns, uh, we can predict what crop to sow and where to sow it depending on different variables. So let's see this in action here on Azure Farm Beats on Azure. So here's the land plot of that um, farmer in Jharkhand, India. And as we can see below, the data here, such as solar radiation, ambient temperature, humidity, and soil moisture is being collected in real time on this plot. So now let me show you a Power BI report of the data being collected in real time. Here it is. So this report is divided into two sections. Number one is this historical farm beats analytics. And here we have the same four variables um, over a period of time in their average values. Here's the same farm. And more interestingly, on the right side, we have real-time Farbeats analytics. So the data is coming in real time in front of me. So here I have the sensors in front of me right now, actually. Here is the soil moisture sensor. Here is, it's hard to show, but here is the Raspberry Pi. And there are also more sensors like the temperature and humidity sensor, etc. But right now in front of me, I have the soil moisture sensor. And as we can see, it's in water right now, but we can see the data changing in front of us actually. So let me lift up the soil moisture sensor right now out of the water and let me dry it with a towel. And now once we give it a few seconds, we can see that the moisture is decreasing. As we can see, the average moisture is decreasing. It was two and now it's 1.5 still decreasing. So on the real-time um, farm beats analysis, we can also find different crop, um, different soil um, properties as well. So like potassium levels, phosphorus levels, and this will all be determining factors in determining what crop to sow. Over here down below, we can also see the enhanced vegetation index and the normalized difference water index. And these are basically heat maps in that they show where in this plot of land there is a water scarcity and where, so like that's the red levels in this um, spectrum and vice versa, 
that's for the red color. The red is where there's water scarcity, where there's more water needed to increase farm productivity and vice versa for the green levels. And so, yeah, as we can see, the moisture decreased since I took it out. And as we can see, this is the exciting part because this recommended crop visual is using AI, the AI model, to predict that rice is the crop that is most suitable to sow in this environment. And let me sh go over to the Azure ML Studio to show you this process. So as you can see, I'm in the Azure ML Studio, and this is the CSV file with all the data of the crop, crop recommendation. <clears throat> so when I click visualize, we can see all these different soil properties and other characteristics of the environment. And based on these determining factors, we can tell that the crop, which is most likely most suitable for that environment is rice. And there are also like other options like of crops such as like wheat, corn, etc. So yeah, I just wanted to add that quick fun part in. And so now imagine all of this data we have using Azure Farm Beats, including data from the sensors, satellite imagery, weather data, and other data about the soil properties from the past, we can use AI to predict what crop to grow where in this environment and how much water to irrigate in different areas, et cetera. So we can then share this information with the farmers and increase their productivity while making their lives easier.